Good morning and welcome to the KHS Radio Close-Up program this morning here on 1230 KHS Radio. Tyson and Veronica with you. Joining us this morning, we have Emily Peterson, better known as Inspector Gadget, and Florence Welts joining us as well. They are with the Platte Valley Roller Vixens uh, joining us this morning on the program. Ladies, first of all, thank you so much for the time. Thank you for having us. Seth, let's first of all, excuse me, Florence, uh, let's first of all start off by talking with you here, uh, the Platte Valley Roller Vixens. Uh, we're talking, of course, about roller derby. Yes. Tell us a little bit about uh, this team, how this team came about, and, and uh, you know, what's going to be going on here this weekend? Well, our team was founded in the summer of 2011, and there had been uh, a, kind of an exhibition bout of roller derby with different skaters from across the state in Kearney, Nebraska, actually. And so our team kind of gathered interest of, you know, who is anybody interested in starting a derby team here and um, pulled together our first, first group of girls and started practicing outside in a park on some basketball courts and kind of gradually built up our ranks and started being able to, to have some actual practices and training our team to play roller derby. None of us knew what it was, what the rules were, how to play. So we've been uh, learning and started scheduling our first home season at Heartland Event Center in Grand Island this past year. And uh, we've got our last bout of the season coming up on Saturday. Uh, let's bring uh, Inspector Gadget uh, on the program now and talk maybe just a little bit about uh, how this season has gone. I understand you're on the road quite a bit. Um, we have. We started the first few bouts here in Grand Island, and then the last two or three we've been on the road. Um, I don't know what's our I think our we've had seven, seven or eight bouts this season. Um, so far, two of them have been home uh, in January and April, and then we've had yeah quite a few away bouts this season. So, And the uh, Platte Valley Roller Vixens, I believe, currently sitting, if my memory serves me correctly, at three and four in those... Uh, Seven bounce a three and four record. Yeah. How, how, how about Emily, uh, Inspector Gadget? How does this uh, scoring system uh, work here? How, how how do you get the wins? Um, well, it's a very high scoring game, and a lot of strategy goes into it. Um, we played some really difficult teams this year. The first few were easier teams, and then um, the last couple we've played higher higher ranked teams. I get I guess. Yeah, like uh, like Edge was saying, we're we're still pretty new to this game. You know, I mean, we're a couple years old now, but we're still a re relatively new team. Um, a lot of the teams that we're playing have been around for five years or more. So, uh, coming into that as a younger team, we've been playing pretty good games. Um, but yeah, we're we're sitting at three and four right now. If you're asking about in terms of actual how points are scored in the game, um, the goal of Derby is, of course, the team with the most points wins. And how you score those points is there's a set of blockers for each team and one point score called the jammer for each team. And those jammers score points for each opposing uh, member of the opposite team that they pass a, a point is scored. So they have to get through the pack, kind of like... Um, football blockers or you know like hockey like the, your blockers are it's actually unique because it's one of the few sports where you're playing offense and defense at the same time so they're trying to block the other jammer from getting through scoring them as a point at the same time that they're trying to help their own point scorer through to pick up those those points now when, back when i was younger i remember used to uh, watching roller derby they had roller derby on tv for a while very uh, unfortunately short-lived uh, tv series yeah but 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 it's just uh, from what i understand just like that uh, just like what we saw on tv how'd you find out about this league well um i was one of the original members so i i had actually seen roller derby uh in st louis where i went to college and so i was familiar with it a little bit there but um it's a little bit different than the stuff that used to be televised it used to be a little bit more of an entertainment kind of spectacle more like uh, wwf wrestling and a little bit of staged fights going on. Uh, some of the crazier years of Derby had, you know, like alligator pits in the middle of the rink and things like that. And it has evolved since the early 2000s um, into an actual sport where there are rules, there are penalties, you know, similar to hockey, and there's actual gameplay strategy involved. Mm -hmm. Once again, uh, Gadget uh, and Florence Welts, Inspector Gadget Florence Welts, with us on the KHS Radio Close-Up Program with the Platte Valley Roller Vixens, the roller derby team uh, located right here in Grand Island. Their last bout of the season, once again, coming up uh, this Saturday. Talk about uh, Gadget, uh, some information on that uh, for fans that might want to come out and check out the last bout. Um, we're at the Heartland Event Center, and the first whistle is at 7 p.m. 
seven thirty. <laughs> but but come by seven, you know, to make sure that you get a good seat and everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, ticket information, as far as that is concerned, where would the, where can they get tickets? Tickets are fifteen dollars. You can pick them up at the door the day of the event or through Heartland Event Center uh, ahead of time. They're also available online on Ticketmaster, and we actually have reduced price tickets for kids as well because we are a family friendly event. So uh, kids twelve to two or two to twelve, I should say. I, I believe are five dollars, and then two and under is free. Okay, once again, the Platte Rale Valley Roller Vixens versus the Foco Punchy Brewsters uh, going to be going on this Saturday over at the Heartland Event Center at 7:30. Another reason what we brought you on the program, and this is going to be part two of our segment with the Platte Valley Roller Vixens. Uh, if you're into roller derby or want to be into roller derby, or come out and you find out that you really like the sport, uh, you guys are going to be doing a, a recruitment coming up uh, in October. Yes, we are. Yeah, um, October 6th at 3 p.m. we'll be at Pear Park in Grand Island, and we're going to be having our what we call fresh meat orientation, and that's just going to be um, an event where you can come, get a little information about our sport, what you know it takes to be a roller vixen, uh, what kind of equipment you're going to need, what to expect in terms of training to play roller derby, but we encourage everybody to come out. It's going to be fun, and I'm sure if you come to the bout Saturday and check it out, it's so hard not to fall in love with it immediately, so... And in Florence, not so much maybe uh, along the players as well. I mean, obviously we want to recruit players that want to be a part of the program, but understand that there's so many different facets that people can become involved with with this organization. Absolutely. It, all of the, you know, every part of the league is volunteer oriented. So we do have skaters that, you know, volunteer their time to go play because that's what they want to do. That they love to play. But it, we also usually have about like seven to, to ten refs um, well, our, our league only has three right now, but that's why we're, we're recruiting. Mm -hmm. um, it does take a lot of referees to run about, and it takes uh, a lot of non-skating officials as well. So if you're worried about, you know, oh, I haven't been on skates for years or something like that, but you really want to get involved, there's always a place for you in Derby. Mm -hmm. So Gadget, as far as uh, the Derbies are concerned with the uh, Vixens, is there like uh, practices? Is there a coach? Is there a strategy going into each bout? How do you prepare? Um, yeah, we practice usually twice a week for about three hours each each time. Um, and, yeah, we have a coach, and then we have a training committee that heads each practice, and they're pretty much in charge of running and organizing the practices. So have you done any scouting yet uh, on, on your opponents here this Saturday? Do you know what they're going to bring uh, to the ring? Well, we haven't seen them play. This will be the first time we're taking on the Fort Collins team, but we are familiar with some of their skaters. In fact, um, Susie Muffin Crusher is one of their <laughs> A team members, and she's frequently in the area for work, so she comes and practices with our with our league and has really helped us kind of as we were getting started to like learning some new drills and practice and things. So we know her style, and if her team is anything like her, it'll be a good good game. Once again, uh, Inspector Gadget and Florence Welts uh, joining us here on the KHS Radio Close-Up program, and let's kind of dive into the uh, Roller Vixens depth chart a little bit and, and talk about what they're going to bring to the rink here before uh, their last bout of the season here this Saturday. Uh, Inspector Gadget, we'll talk about, first of all, with you, A, how did you get the nickname Inspector Gadget? Uh, just randomly thought of it. Didn't have a derby name, and that's what we came up with, some friends and I. Do you have a particular, I guess, where's your position, and what, what do you bring to the Vixens? Um, I am a blocker and then a pivot, which is just another type of blocker, usually on the inside line. Um, and that's the position I play. And Florence Welts, uh, nickname, how did that come across? Or how did that come about, excuse me? Well, um, as much as some folks like to believe it has nothing to do with Lawrence Welk, <laughs> the Poker King, um, a little bit more to do with another musician, though, Florence Welch of uh, Florence and the Machine. I'm a fan of uh, that music and was looking for something kind of pop culture related mm -hmm. uh, to play off of, so, okay. so I picked that. And uh, where do you play a role in the Vixens? I play a little bit of everything. I um, have jammed in the past, and I'm also a blocker and also a pivot, like uh, the blocking position Gadget was talking about, so... Once again, the Platte Valley Roller Vixens are going to be playing a, a team out of Fort Collins, the uh, Foco Punchy Brewsters. It should be a, a exciting match. It's going to be going on at the Heartland Event Center over in Grand Island at 7.30 this Saturday. Uh, Florence Welts, Inspector Gadget, have been our guest on the KHS Radio Close-Up Program. As far as the recruitment is concerned, um, that's going to be going on October 6th at 3 p.m. over at Pier Park. Uh, informational meeting a, a recruitment session as far as if you want to get involved with the program. When does the 2014 campaign get started up? 
We're going to start training, actually, tra training all these fresh meat uh, this fall. And then all of our vets will come back and start training for 2014 season in January. And we don't have um, a date scheduled yet, but I'm assuming it'll be probably into January, February for our first home game, uh, hopefully back at Heartland. All right. Well, we hope to uh, stay in the ring with you, so to speak, and keep uh, up to date on everything that's going on. Once again, a recruitment, October 6th at 3 p.m. over at Pier Park. And uh, the last bout of the 2013 season coming up on Saturday uh, at 7.30 over at the Heartland Event Center, Platte Valley Roller Vixens Roller Derby. Uh, joining us on the co close-up program, ladies, thank you so much for the time. Thanks for Thank you. Me.